Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to use DeepSeek AI in a Visual Studio code. It is a very easy and simple process and DeepSeek is the best AI model. It is way better than the ChatGPT. That's why we use DeepSeek. Here we find some features of the DeepSeek and at the top we find API platform. We create API platform. First of all, we go to the our Visual Studio code. I go to the Visual Studio code. In a Visual Studio code, click at here, extension, click on the extension at this point, click at here, we find extension, click on the extension and click at here, search and type continue, type the continue and first app is from the continue, click on this app and here we find install or click at here, install or click on this install button, click on install button and installation is started and it's take few minutes or few seconds depending on the your speed. Continue is installed. Now here we find continue. Here we find the new app or the extension. Click at here, continue. In a continue, here we find at the top, we find this kind of the features. Click at here and click on add chart model. Add a chart model. Click at here. Here we find the provider. It's QA, chart GPT and many other open AI and we want to add a deep seek. So I click on the deep seek. In a deep seek, in a model list, it is automatically select deep seek coder or chatter chart. I want a deep seek coder. So click on the deep seek coder and it's asked for the API key. And if you have not an API key, then click at here. Okay. And open with any web browser that you want. I open it with the Google Chrome. After that, it's asked for the login and login with your Google ID. And if you have email ID and password, then go with the email ID and password or login with the Google. I log in with the Google. Here, add another user account if you want or use your current Gmail password. I go with the current Gmail password or the Google email ID. Click it here. Here we find continue. Click on the continue. And here we find at a right hand side we find api key click on the api key in api key here we find create a new api key i create this new api key and after that in this video after this video i also delete that api key i don't want to use this api key by the other use other users that's why i delete this api key after this video click on the create a new api key and add any name that you want i add test you can add any name that you want and click on create an API key. Here is the, our API key. Click at here and click on copy. Copy this API key. Close it. Now next go to the Visual Studio once again and click at here and paste that API key at this point and click on the continue. And chat GPT is added to our Visual Studio code. Our second way, our second method is also easy and that's not needed any kind of any kind of the API keys. Go to the extension once again, click on the extension and this time type code GPT, type code GPT. And here we find code GPT, chart and AI agent. Click at here and here we find install. You can install it from here or here. I click at here and click on the trust publisher and install. Wait for a few seconds or few minutes, allow. Here we will find our code GPT is added. Click at here, right hand side, code GPT, click on the code GPT. And if it's asked for the sign up, then sign up. I click on the continue with Google. I copy this link and add to my web browser and click on the continue with the my email ID. Click on the continue. Click on continue to Visual Studio code. Click on the open. Now code GPT is open. After sign up, click at here, click at here. And here we find many things. Click on the deep seek R1 or the deep seek. Here we find many kind of the AI. Click on the deep seek R1 and start your coding. So guys, this is the simplest way to use deep seek AI in a Visual Studio code. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, Comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.